What happened? Uh, it had a slight weapons malfunction, but uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times bloopers made it into the final cut. Your persistent surprise isn't even me. You're gonna give mercenaries a bad name. For this list, we'll be looking at all of the best clandestine mistakes that ended up as some of our favorite movie moments. If we missed any of your blooper bests, let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Stormtrooper Bonk, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Stormtroopers, the frightening minion-like army of the Empire. It's them, blast them. Get back to the ship! Where are you going? Has courage. What good will it do us if he gets himself killed? Come on. In the Star Wars franchise, they are the evil personified, which makes this clumsy misstep all the funnier. In A New Hope, there's a scene where a group of stormtroopers enters a control room. One of them isn't quite as smooth as the others, and audibly hits his head onto the doorway with a loud bonk. Take over. Need a hit. The incident has been confirmed to be an accident, with many actors claiming fault for the headbang over the years. We don't know if a bunch of people lied about their role as the trooper, or if there were a bunch of scenes of stormtroopers hitting their heads left on the cutting room floor. We're hoping it's the latter. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. Number 9. Rich Falls, The Martian. Hey, even astrodynamicists lose their balance sometimes. I've done the math. Checks out. Rich? Yes, sir. Get out. Donald Glover, also known as Childish Gambino, plays a scientist named Rich Purnell in Ridley Scott's The Martian. In one of Rich's first scenes, a co-worker wakes him up to have a conversation. After a few moments, Rich appears to have a revelation about something. He proclaims that he needs more coffee, swiftly stands up, and falls straight down, out of sight of the camera. I need more coffee. Uh, are you all right? It's fine. Apparently, this fall was not planned. The other actor running over to ask Glover if he's okay is really reacting to the accident. Scott liked the moment a lot, believing that it humanized Rich. So, he decided to keep it in the final cut. You do understand I'm your boss, right? Uh -huh. Number 8. Bleacher Fail, The Princess Diaries In 2001's The Princess Diaries, Princess Mia Thermopolis isn't the most graceful of teenagers. Oh, oh. Oops, I'm sorry I didn't see you. If you asked her, she would probably say she's the last person in the world who could easily portray a sense of royalty. And that's what makes this little accident such a perfect character moment. In a scene where Mia and her friend Lily are talking on the bleachers, Mia suddenly slips and falls through the steps. <laughs> are you okay? Apparently, this was a total accident, causing actress Anne Hathaway to burst out laughing at her mistake. Director Gary Marshall found the moment so charming, he decided to keep it in the film. I really don't want to talk about this at the moment, okay? Number 7. Kick to the Jaw, Mission Impossible 2 Tom Cruise has made a name for himself as a guy who wants to do all of his own stunts. I don't think I can get her to do it. You mean it'll be difficult? Very. Unfortunately, in Mission Impossible 2, he accidentally took things a bit too far. In a famous fight sequence that includes a knife centimeters away from Cruz's eye, the famous actor actually kicked his fight partner in the face. Cruz placed a roundhouse kick squarely on Dugray Scott's jaw, knocking the Scottish actor back for real. If you pay close attention, you can see Cruz react in horror to his mistake. Apparently, however, no one was horrified enough to leave it outside of the final cut. You right, mate? Punk put a hole in my Versace. Number 6. Spit Take. Fast and Furious 6. Sometimes good improv leads to another actor making a mistake. So who's got a plan B? Plan B? Plan B? We need a plan C, D, E. We need more alphabets. Hey, we do what we do best. We improvise, all right? But sometimes, you end up keeping both in the final cut. Towards the end of Fast and Furious 6, the crew gathers together for a little family cookout. Luke Hobbs, played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, arrives at the cookout where he improvises a funny line. In a quick comeback that no other actor knew was coming, The Rock makes fun of Tyrese Gibson's character's forehead. Hey Mia, you better hide your baby or I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big ass forehead. <laughs> I was just joking. Whatever. Ludacris reacts to this line by spitting out his drink. 
Luda was reacting in real time to The Rock's sick burn, and the take was so funny it made the final cut. Well, not bad having you work for me. <laughs> now we all know you were working for me, Hobbs. Number 5. Breaking the Glass Blade Runner If you thought Daryl Hannah wasn't a consummate professional, think again. I'm hungry, J.F. I got stuff inside. But also, we think it's probably okay to ask to pause a scene if you literally injure yourself while filming it. While making the 1982 science fiction classic Blade Runner, Hannah accidentally smacked her elbow through a window. The moment happens when her character, named Pris, is running away from William Sanderson's character. <laughs> hey! While on the run, Hannah tripped over one of the many pieces of debris on set and crashed through a nearby car window. Hannah kept going, but she ended up cutting her elbow in multiple places. Director Ridley Scott kept the take, which really underscores the anxiety of the chase. We scared each other pretty good, didn't we? We sure did. <laughs> Number 4. Bonk. The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. While filming Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy, Ian McKellen often had the difficult task of playing the very tall Gandalf, opposite a bunch of very small hobbits. Baggins, do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. I am not trying to rob you. While filming inside Bilbo Baggins' home, McKellen accidentally knocks his head against the top of an archway. Just tea, thank you. <laughs> Reportedly, Jackson found the moment so compelling and well-acted that he decided to keep it in the movie. But McKellen has a slightly different recollection. According to McKellen, the moment wasn't an accident at all. He just decided to do it without telling Jackson. Whatever the case, it's one of the moments that gives us such a warm, fuzzy feeling about Gandalf. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. Number 3. Farting Lineup The Usual Suspects Sometimes a little mistake can help loosen up a set. At that point I wasn't scared. I knew I hadn't done anything they could do me for. Besides, it was fun. Such is the case with The Usual Suspects, in which some bathroom humor helped unlock the key to an iconic scene. One of the most iconic moments from The Usual Suspects is the infamous lineup scene, which has been the subject of behind-the-scenes gossip for some time. According to writer Christopher McQuarrie, actor Benicio Del Toro could not stop farting, causing the other actors to break out in laughter. Number three, step forward. <laughs> Reportedly, Del Toro farted about 12 takes in a row, and no one could keep it together. In retrospect, McCory says he thinks the mistake actually improved the scene, making it into the amazing moment it is today. It was all the cops' fault. You don't put guys like that into a room together. Who knows what can happen? Number 2. Candy Cuts His Hand, Django Unchained One of the marks of a good actor is to keep things moving, even if something unexpected happens. The hell you say? I'm aware this is probably disconcerting news. But in this case, if we were Kerry Washington, we might have a few words for one Leonardo DiCaprio. During a scene in Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained, DiCaprio's deranged slave owner Calvin Candy slams his hand on a table and cuts it on a glass. I'll lay your palm flat on that tabletop! If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is gonna let loose with both barrels that sawed off! Apparently, DiCaprio really did cut his hand, but kept the scene moving. It was a good choice. The blood all over Candy's hand only serves to underscore how crazed the man actually is. However, there's some debate that the blood he wipes all over Kerry Washington's face is real. As the story goes, Tarantino was inspired when Leo cut his hand, and used fake blood for the rest of the scene. Here's hoping for Carrie's sake that story is true. Then we can examine the three dimples inside Pamela's skull! Now! What's it gonna be, Doc? Huh? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. I'm walking here. Midnight Cowboy. There has been some discussion over the years about the truth behind this particular anecdote. Cowboy, huh? Uh, well, sir, I, I ain't a for real cowboy. But I am one hell of a stud. We think it's probably true, but we'll leave you to do your own research. 
While filming Midnight Cowboy, stars Dustin Hoffman and John Voight are both in a famous scene where a taxi almost runs them down on the street. Hoffman smacks the hood of the cab and famously yells, hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. According to Hoffman, this taxi's entrance was not planned. The set was not closed, and the cab really almost ran down the two actors. When Hoffman said, I'm walking here, he meant something along the lines of, hey, we're filming a movie. Luckily for Hoffman, it turned into one of the most famous movie moments ever. Don't worry about that. Actually, that ain't a bad way to pick up insurance, you know. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.